Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you here, like always. Before we get started with today's video, I wanted to take a minute to show you guys the website. Finally, after months and months of procrastinating and saying that I was going to get this finished, I finally got it done and finally launched it. So you guys can go ahead and check it out. It is paradiseaviaryexotics.com. You can go ahead and see some of the birds that I have available for sale there. I'm not going to go into too much detail as far as how this website works. I'll go ahead and do a separate video for that, but just wanted to go ahead and show you guys before we started with today's video. Now, without any further ado, let's go ahead and let's start the video. You know, one of the hardest things to do when you have an outdoor aviary is keeping pests far away from it. If it's not a hawk, it's a raccoon. If it's not a raccoon, it's a coyote. If it's not a coyote, it's a rat. If not, it's a smaller insects, like for example, cockroaches and ants. There's always something trying to get inside of the aviary, whether it's to eat our birds or to eat some of the feed that we offer the birds, we always have to be careful with what makes its way in. The last thing that you want is an animal making its way in and killing your birds or a small insect making its way in and causing havoc. For example, one of the problems that I've been having here recently have been the roaches. For the last two months, I want to say, I've been so busy with so many different things that I've to a certain point neglected that outdoor aviary. And one of the things that happened there recently is that I found out that there was somewhat of an infestation of roaches and they are the big ones. Here in Florida, we call them palmetto bugs or palmetto cockroaches. I have no idea how they got in because the wire on my aviary is quarter inch. This is the smallest one possible that you can buy. So it's very difficult for these roaches to get out once they're inside and I have no clue how they made it inside. Now I do know where they've been staying at. I've been having problems with the waterfall so that waterfall for the last two months has been turned off and they're hiding in between the rocks of the waterfall. Now the thing is during the day they don't come out. You don't see them but at night they go crazy inside of that aviary. And that was one of the problems why they went so long without them being noticed. I, I, I don't come out here at nighttime and look at the aviary to see what's going on inside of there. So I missed them for quite some time. So after I figured out what was going on and how many of them were in there, I decided to make some traps in order to get them. And if you've ever had to deal with roaches, you know that that is a war that you're likely to lose. And you're going to have to consistently attack them in order to get rid of every single one of them. So one of the things that I ended up doing was I made these containers, or I didn't make the containers, I just grabbed a regular container, uh, for example, like a Coca-Cola bottle or an apple juice bottle, any type of juice bottle that you can get your hands on, and I would cut the top of that bottle. What I would do is I would leave the outside exactly how it was, but on the interior portion of this bottle, I would go ahead and rub some oil on it and that would make that surface very slippery so in essence what would happen is the roach would crawl up on the side of the bottle they would smell the food that's inside try to get in slip and get to the bottom they would eat that food when they try to escape and climb up the outer walls of that bottle they wouldn't be able to because the oil makes it slippery so i did one for the first day placed it inside of the uh aviary and by the end of that first day, the following day, when I wake up in the morning and I go check it, I was amazed at how many roaches were inside of this thing. So I knew I had to make more. I went in, I made another two or three more of these and placed them in different sections. And before you know it, every single day, I was catching, I don't know, 50, 60, 70, 80 roaches in every single one of these bottles. I wanna say that it took about a week maybe a week and a little bit more of consistently every single day placing these bottles in here. And I would do it at the end of the day, around six o'clock or seven o'clock, right before uh, the lights go off, I would go ahead and I would take away all the food that they had inside of the outdoor aviary. I would take away all of the water and then I would go ahead and place these traps. So the roaches had nowhere else to go, but these traps, they're gonna come out, they're gonna be hungry. If you leave food, anywhere inside of your aviary they're going to go towards that food and they're going to avoid these traps 
So little by little, every single day doing the same exact thing, I was able to knock down that population, knock it down, knock it down, knock it down to the point where now I put the traps and I'm not catching anything anymore. But like I said, it took a solid week, week and a half maybe to get rid of all of them. And that consistency is what got rid of them. So if you're having that problem with roaches inside of your aviary, make sure to go ahead and do something similar to this. All you need is that small little jar or that small bottle, slather it on the inside with some sort of oil so that they slip and put some sort of food in there that they like. I used a little bit of everything. I was just using kitchen scraps. Um, I would put peanut butter, applesauce, uh, tomato paste, marshmallow, sugar, just anything in there. Roaches will eat anything. So it doesn't matter what you put inside. Just throw something that gives off some sort of smell, something that you think a roach is going to like. And that's pretty much anything. And um, you're going to start catching them left and right. Another problem that you could possibly have inside of your outdoor aviary is with the smaller bugs or the ants. And I've had a lot of people ask me, how do you keep ants away from your outdoor aviary? What do you do to get rid of them if you have them? One of the things that I do here, and I've never had a problem with ants, is that on the outside of the aviary where the birds cannot touch, I continuously spray. I always spray at least once a month. I spray the outer portion of the aviary with some sort of insecticide for ants uh, just to deter them from coming inside. Another thing that I do on the interior portion of the aviary is I add some Demetrius or Dimetiaceous earth. I'm probably butchering that and saying it horribly wrong, but here's a picture of what it looks like. And this is a substance that kills insects. Any insect that crawls over this, it causes little lesions in them and it makes them uh, pretty much dehydrate. It's not gonna work for the bigger roaches. Trust me, I tried. Um, I sprayed it all around the waterfall and the areas of the rock where I thought they may walk through and that is not going to do anything for any of these bigger insects. But for the ants or anything smaller, it will kill it. It will get rid of it. It doesn't harm the birds. This is a natural substance. It's uh, equal friendly. It's something that is not going to cause them any harm. So if you're going towards a more natural route, this is the perfect thing to use in your outdoor aviary. Between those two things, between the traps that I use for the uh, roaches, between spraying the outer portions of the aviary so that the ants can't get in and spreading some of that... <laughs> That's a horrible word to pronounce. I don't know how to say it. Um, between spraying that, not spraying it, between you know throwing it around in different sections around the inside of the aviary, I have been able to get rid of all sorts of small bugs that may cause a problem to the birds because one... The roaches, the birds are not going to eat it. I had someone comment that, won't the birds eat them? Um, these smaller finches are not going to eat those roaches. I don't know about the smaller roaches, but the bigger ones, the palmetto bugs, these things are pretty big. So they're not going to eat them. If anything, it's going to cause a problem because these roaches, as they come out at night, they may disturb the finches or spook them. These finches are inside of different parts of the bushes. Some of them are inside of their nest. And if a roach passes through that section, it may spook that bird out of its nest and it may cause a problem where now that bird abandons the nest in the middle of the night because it got spooked. So the last thing that I want are those roaches in there spreading disease or causing that problem. And then the smaller ants, the last thing that you want is an aviary filled with ants or an aviary that has ants inside of it. Because if those ants find a nest that has chicks, believe it or not, they will attack those chicks, they will kill the chicks and uh, eventually eat it. So. The last thing that you want is to have problems like that. So hopefully this video helps you guys if you've been having some sort of insect problems in the aviary to now know a little bit better how to solve it. Like always, guys, if you've enjoyed the video, remember to hit a thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and we will see each other in the next one. Bye.